Hi YouTubers. Right, well I came home from work this morning and I found something very interesting waiting for me which I wasn't expecting. Look at this big box. Now you see I was really expecting my uh, Ethernet uh, media converters but this box is far too big for that and it was really heavy. But look what we got in here. I've got a case of wine. Um, so where did that come from? Well it came from the a bank. The bank was harassing me with a wrong number, giving me lots of... Uh, phone calls asking for um, some random person uh, and uh, I wrote to them and moaned and they sent me a case of wine by way of apologies but also what happened was I got another box and this really I was a surprise so look another box and this is a much better size and it contained my fiber optic equipment and we're going to test it out so here we go I've got two of these these are TP-Link MC220L gigabit media converters. They're cheap and they're nasty, but we're going to find out if they work. These here are Intel Mini um, GBIC or SFP converters. These are a few pence each off eBay. And these are multi-mode, short-range, gigabit fiber optic transceivers. So we're going to connect the whole lot up and then we're going to see what happens. So here we go. I've got one Ethernet cable here, this connects to my uh, router, and another one here which is connected to the PC. And we're going to set this equipment up, we're going to see what happens. So let's start with the SFPs first. Dust covers off. And we just pop it in, like so. Same thing with the other one. Pop it in, just like so. Okay, and now we've put the cable in, dust covers off, and it should just slot in. A bit light, doing this one handed. And it should just slot in. Mm. That's it, that's home. And the other one, let's pop that in. Let's push it gently. Now we've got a green light there, I've got a link light on the fibre port and a link light on that fibre port. So let's just plug in the uh, Ethernet and see what happens. That one goes in there. Got a link light on the Ethernet port. And we've got one here. Now we've got a link light on that Ethernet port. Now let's turn to the computer and see what happens. There we go. Working. That's pretty cool. Make it a little bit bigger. Streaming live. Fantastic. So there we go. Cheap fiber optic kit. These things look cheap, they look nasty, but they are made of, me made of metal. They have got a fair bit of weight to them. They cost about um, £14 each when you include the shipping and the delivery. Fibre cables a couple of quid. The transceivers, as I said, were a few pence each um, off eBay. I, th I don't think the guy knew what they were. I only found them by chance just on a random search. Um, they weren't listed as Ethernet. They weren't listed as uh, multi-mode. It was just a complete fluke that I found them. So there we go. Fibre optic uh, home networking. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but uh, um, it might be quite useful when I've got a bit more space and I need to run cables outdoors. There we go, that's all.